satin stitch. So when you start satin, satin stitch, it's good to start in the center of your shape or possibly the widest spot on your shape, which in this case is the center. This is actually a pretty large shape to be doing with satin stitch, but we'll roll with it. Uh, technically, you don't want your straight stitches too long because they can get a little unruly. They can, um, you know, you don't want a single stitch going across your entire hoop, right? So at this point, we start making parallel straight stitches down one side or the other. It can be down the left, it can be down the right. You can alternate back and forth. I like to do one side and then come back and do the other. So obviously if we use six strands of floss like I am here, we're going to have more texture when we do this, right? If you look off to the right, you'll see that little flower I made demonstrating different plies or different strands when making satin stitch. A lot of people, when they do traditional satin stitch, it's definitely with one strand and they'll even do um, an outline first to help accentuate the shape before covering that outline with the satin stitch. I saved that information for the padded satin stitch card. So if you're interested in that kind of extension on this idea, please, please check that out. Um, satin stitch takes a lot of practice, I think. Oops, there's a cat. Hey, biscuit. Of course he needs to rub on, <laughs> on that. Okay. Uh, okay, so yes, yeah, satin stitch takes a lot of practice. It's hard. It is hard to get the stitches parallel. It is hard to come up and go down creating a smooth line. That is this outline that I'm talking about. So making sure this edge is rounded and not jagged. That's not easy. All right, there's my satin stitch. If we jump over here, so here are the examples of this stitch direction kind of pointing um, along, I guess, the length of the shape so that we actually have a stitch that kind of creates this point. In this case, since we're doing this more horizontal uh, stitch direction, at the point we're having to make these very tiny uh, straight stitches at the end, so it's hard to get the point. We kind of lose the points, right, on these ones. It's a more rounded, blunt tip, which can be good or bad. It's just something to think about when you're deciding the stitch direction you want to use when you're filling a shape with satin stitch. Um, yeah, so if like your instructions, for example, don't include that information um, and you have to decide for yourself, like that's something to think about. So have fun with satin stitch. Give yourself a break. I do have a more in-depth video describing satin stitch and a, a tutorial. So I'll include the link for that um, with this video. Have fun.